Ago. It's been good listening to those who came up to share um, their life and then their story. It's been very, um, very inspirational, very impactful, and very motivational to me. Um, I say medasi. <laughs> I hope you understand what I just said. But that's it. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So yes, um, we just drew past um, the famous Queen Mother's town, um, Scolia Santua. And um, one thing about this um, famous warrior is um, the War of the Golden Stool. That is what it was called, or the Ya Asantua War. Oh. <laughs> the war actually happened in 1900. Um, it was during the time when the British had defeated the Asantes, and that wasn't the only time that they had gone into war. There had been five other wars between the Asantes and the British, and there were one, there were three of them that the Asantes won. And so the British knew that the Asantes were a force to reckon with. One of the chanting. Um, song of the Asantes is Ukuma Pema Apembeba, which means if you kill a thousand, a thousand will suffice. Ukuma Pema Apembeba. And they are likened to the porcupine warriors. Or the porcupine, sorry, they are likened to the porcupine. So they are called the porcupine warriors. A porcupine can be very quiet in there, but when you attack it, it starts throwing out. It quails and spins. So, fast forward, they took the king during one of the wars, Prempe the First, and was captured and imprisoned at the Elmina dungeons. And there, the British demanded the people to bring the golden stool in return of their king. The people refused. So, they actually went in search of it, bent down their palace, bent down so many things that the Asantes had in search of it. They couldn't find it. So the people were scared because they wanted their king back, but also they didn't want to give the golden stool away. And so they were all scared. And in the meeting, this queen from the town, I just was part of the meeting, where the men and the old people were there. And none of them wanted to go and fight. And yeah, Santo looking at how the men were coward at that time, stood up and said, in the days of our first king, Osetitu, we the Asantes will not sit down for the white man to come and insult us and demand the golden stool which our forefathers fought to preserve and keep. So if you men want to go and fight, I and the women in my town will fight. So when she said it, this brought some sense of pride and force into the men, and she led that war. Again, it brings you to a point where you understand that the women here in our towns are very, very important in that they hold a strong position. For example, when a chief dies or a king dies, it is the respons responsibility of the Queen Mother to nominate a new, a new person, somebody who succeed. And so that is one of their main responsibility. And also, when there is a very, very important decision to be made, and they don't seem to find a solution, they say in the Akan language, Yankohum Abrewa, which means let's go and see um, the old lady because they have the wisdom, they've lived over the history, and then they know. So this is what it is. So before the war, she went, there's a particular town before Ejeso, it's called Besiase, it's also linked to the town. She went, again, brings you to the fact that um, spirituality, traditional religion, and all that goes on. So she went there to consult and fortify herself. And from that on, they went and she was smart in that she knew that the British had never seen the golden stool before so during the war when they were fighting because 
the, they were winning at a point. The British had to go and bring reinforcements. In certain books, they tell you that they had um, other slaves that they had from Nigeria, Yoruba. They had to bring them to come and fight the Asantes to defeat them. And to the point where they were defeating, defeating the Asantes, she quickly went, prepared a fake golden stool. And so when she ran out of bullets, and when she was captured, she presented that. She, she was also captured and put into the Elmina dungeons. And later on, they were exiled to the Seychelles Islands because when they were captured, the Asantes people kept on coming to Elmina, kept on coming there, and the British were afraid. So they had to exile them. And so they were exiled to the Seychelles Islands, and there they were until she died. And so the Asante history is never complete without the story of this Queen Mother. So she's called the Asantua, and so we always say Women born on the first day are warriors. They have the warrior spirit. So that's the quick one about the answer to us. Excellent, excellent. I got one yes. question. Yes. Uh, can you add the connection in with Nana Prempe? Okay. So Nana Prempe, King Prempe was one of the kings of the Asantes. Um, he was, uh, if I'm not mistaken, he might be the the either the second or the third monarch of the Asantes. Currently, the monarch is, we have the 15th monarch of the Asantes. Um, and talking about monarchs, in, in, in here, in our culture, the chiefs do not rule, they reign. In that, when a person becomes a chief or a king, that person is a king for life, so that person dies. That's why even when they were captured and imprisoned they were still he was still recognized as their king so when he was captured he was returned again in 1924 the war happened in 1900 he was returned again in 1924 and um, when he was when he, he returned he had been christian in that he came with a cross and had been baptized in the anglican church but when he came back the you know i told you that the british had bent down the palace instead of the golden stool. Um, to do compensation, they built a new palace. And um, the Asantes said, no, 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 we won't accept it. We won't put our king there. So the Asantes came together, contributed and paid for before they allowed their king to be put in there. But over time, um, that palace has uh, been expanded and that particular one that has been built has been converted into a palace museum which you will see um, during our tour okay and we'll talk more about it any question